Heidi. How are we all? Good? Not good? Average? Good. <laughs> a lot of average. A few average. Um, so today's class is all about acceptance. And that's because we can't really do anything else at the moment, can we? So it's all about just dealing with the mini little playground that we get given in our days and in the spaces that we're either lucky or not so lucky to be kind of confined in at the moment. So I thought, why not do a class all about just accepting and trying to embrace what it is that we have. Um, acceptance for those interested in elemental yoga therapy is a fire element. That doesn't mean the class is gonna be super strong and super fire-like, but it does mean it's all about kind of transformational energy. So we're gonna be doing hips, which is about releasing, and quads, so another big muscle group, because we did a bit of legs and glutes. Um, okay, let's start with our meditation, and then we may come down to lie on the back for some, some of the first movements. So I know some people find that a bit jolty, but I think it's worth us doing this meditation, because it's a fire manipura, which is your sacral chakra, your fire chakra meditation. So we're gonna start seated. So if you want to find a comfortable seat, if you've got a candle nearby, lucky you, light it. If you want to run and get one, and I'll carry on talking, you can do that. Um, sit on a pillow or the floor or a yoga block. Sit nice and tall in your spine. Try to shake off anything that's happened in the day. Arrive into the yoga world, into your little space, and get ready for a class. All right. Settle down your body, so any wriggles or movements that you need to get out, get out, and then find a stillness. So you want to find a nice rooted stillness in the body. Welcome everyone, I can see lots of names, which is nice. Settle your shoulders, your chest, your belly. We are going to use a mudra if you want to, if you don't want to, you don't have to. Your left hand is like a little disc, a little bowl. And your right hand is a thumbs up. And your right hand as a thumbs up sits on top of your left palm. So it's this little funny space here. This is your flame. So this is like a flame. This is going to be your fire. So you place it down here on top of your feet or just down towards your pelvis. And if you don't want to do that, just bring your hands to your knees. Okay, closing the eyes for me. Settling in. You want to put the playlist on, you can put that on now. And let's take a deep breath in through the nose and a deep breath out. Good, a deep breath in through the nose and a deep breath out. Good, take a few more if you want to or just let the breath come back to natural. It takes a little while to register or let the body and the mind register where we are, what we're doing. So try to speed that process up, relaxing the body, finding a stillness. If the eyes aren't closed, trying to close them now. Letting the eyelids not be too sharply shut, but nicely relaxed, hiding the eyes. A reminder, the class theme is acceptance. And in human psychology, it's defined as a person's kind of ability to deal with the reality of a situation and recognizing that we have to accept something without changing or protesting it. So I thought that was quite relevant to what's going on at the moment. So we want to try and tap into our mind and our energy of just really knowing that there's not much we can change or protest at the moment. And so we just need to embrace and accept. So allow the body to slow down, the mind to soften. And we're going to take another 
meditation, mindfulness from the external to the internal. So starting with the external, can you tune into the sounds around you? So heightening that one sense of sound, bouncing around between the different sounds that you can hear. Searching again for the subtler sounds underneath the more obvious sounds, ones further away rather than close by. Connecting with the sight sense, but without opening the eyes. So just noticing any flickers of light, contrast, light and dark between the eyelashes. Connecting to touch, so noticing the difference in sensation where the clothes are on the body, different temperatures, parts of the skin that is exposed, others that is covered. Really allow yourself to heighten and tune in your awareness to the senses. Licking the lips and taking a deep breath in through the nose. A long, slow breath out through the mouth. Again, let the breath be natural. And trying to get into more of that visualization part of the brain. I know it can be harder for some people, but I want you to imagine that your thumb, if you're using the mudra, your right thumb is a flame. So your right fist is resting on your left hand and the right thumb is sticking up and this is a flame just at the base of the belly. And if you chose to have the hands on the thighs, then just imagine a flame over the belly button. And I want you to focus on this flame and notice that as you breathe in, it starts to flicker a bit brighter. And as you breathe out, it starts to dim. Just focus on that for a good few breaths. Really not allowing yourself to get distracted. Focus on this visualization of this flame at your center. Our fire energy is our creative energy. It's our performance personality type. It's how we celebrate how we have this excitement within our bellies. But it's also how we transform, it's how we cleanse, it's how we let things wash over us and just be really present in the moment. So I want you to maybe gather up all the things in your mind that perhaps are frustrating you at the moment it's important to bring them to the surface rather than bury them away. So just bring to the surface the things bothering you, the things keeping your mind occupied, occupied frustrating you. And we're gonna take a few breaths and on every exhale, I just want you to let them go to just try and think, well, what can I do about it right now in this moment? Nothing. Take a deep breath in. Sigh it out through the mouth. Take a deep breath in, sigh it out through the mouth, deep breath in, and sigh it out through the mouth, good, keep the eyes closed, keep that body nice and still, try to now breathe in through the nose and out through the nose, so let the mouth and the jaw be soft, and I want you to try and keep this breathing rhythm in and out through the nose throughout the practice. Keep the eyes closed and bring the hands together and just rub the hands together. So create some heat between the hands. And then cover and cup the eyes. And as you cup the eyes, start to open the eyelids, keeping the hands there and just looking through the half light, through the speckles of light that comes through the fingers. 
and just move the eyes up and down, right to left, circle, side to side. Tuck your chin, bring your hands to prayer down at the heart space, take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Good, interlace your hands, take them to the crown of your head, tuck your chin, let the weight of the arms and the hands fall onto the head. Feel that stretch down the back of the neck. Good. Deep breath in. We begin the class. Open your chest. Pull your elbows back. Lift your chin. And then exhale. Pull the elbows together. Squeeze the belly button to the spine. Inhale. Open. Lifting out. And then exhale. Closing off. Two more. Use your pelvis as well. Inhale. Exhale. Squeeze. Really exaggerate the movement. Inhale. Open. And exhale, we squeeze. Prayer to the sky, inhale, lift. If you can't have the hands in prayer, open the hands. We're gonna go to the right, reaching over. Inhale, we hold. Exhale, we come up. Inhale, we go left. Exhale, we come up. Take a twist to the right, hold the arms above the head. Twist as much as you can using just your torso. Inhale, come back to center. Go to the left as you exhale. Inhale, lift it up to the center, forward, and then exhale, forward fold, tips of the fingers to the floor. Relax your head, take a breath in, take a breath out. Good, inhale, lift up. Exhale, come down. Good, you're gonna come to all fours at the top of your mat, spread the fingertips wide, come into your tabletop. And then from here, you're gonna take through your cat cow. So just lifting the chest, as the belly goes down and then pulling the belly in as the head drops. Take three or four in your own time. So just reconnecting movement and breath. So training yourself to know how to move and connect with the breath. Good. Flat back for me. Spread the fingertips wide. Look at the thumbs. Left leg steps back. Toes on the floor. Push the left heel away. Engage your shoulders, pull them away from your ears. And then if you want to go further, we've done this one, you lift up the right knee and you hold. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Right knee comes down and then left heel goes to the right so you flatten your left foot. Left arm comes to the sky. You have to use your core because you're sort of under a, a line here. So you haven't got your right foot to engage, so left arms to the sky, good. Well done, bring your left knee in and then take your left hand underneath your right, bring left ear to floor. Again, remember you can extend your right leg behind you, try not to roly poly, or you can just keep your right knee down. Left arm to the sky, inhale. Exhale, take it down. Right foot steps to the back of the mat, push through that heel, stretch through the calf, Look at the thumbs, when you're ready, engage your core, try not to tilt the pelvis, lift up the left knee. We have two long breaths. Yeah, hold that left foot up, so try to hover the foot. Left knee down, right heel to the left, right arm to the sky. Good, if you wanna test the balance, look to the right thumb. Try and engage your core, squeezing your glutes. Keeping the right arm as it is, bring the right knee in, and then right arm underneath left, right ear to floor. Left foot can step back, it can float or it can stay on the floor. Good, right hand to sky, inhale. Exhale, bring it down. Fingers step wide, toes tucked. Move back through a toe stretch. So here, bum is on heels and then swing forward. Shoulders further forward than the wrists. Swing it back, forward, back, forward. As you come back, take a downward dog. Peel the hips to the sky, step the feet back. We're gonna take five rivers. So this can be quite a challenge for some people, so just stay with your breath. Inhale, ripple through your spine to a high plank. Exhale, drop your knees, push the ground away and peel to down dog. Inhale, high plank, ripple through. Exhale, bend the knees, push the ground away. Inhale, three, plank. Exhale, push back, down dog. Inhale, four, plank. Exhale, push back, down dog. Five, plank. 
exhale back down the dog hold it breathing in hold it breathing out ripple to high plank and hold good you do have the option to put the knees down or you can keep them lifted you're going to lower yourself slowly all the way to the ground just lowering the chest in between the hands then relax your feet press your backs of your feet into the floor squeeze your glutes reach your hands behind you try to interlace your fingers and then squeeze your arms back lifting up your head and shoulders once you're there lengthen your neck so look at the floor point those toes squeeze those glutes maybe lift a bit higher inhale exhale rest onto the right ear and relax the arms good take a little breather here best pose ever all right lift up onto the forehead take the tips of the fingers out by the sides so wide with the hands and then you inhale and you peel up through the chest and then exhale you come down go as far as is comfortable don't push it inhale lift squeeze those glutes exhale down last one inhale lift exhale down good press the hands push the ground away down dog through child pose you push through the knees you tuck the toes downward facing dog inhale we hold exhale we hold inhale right leg to the sky we're going to hold it there for a little while three-legged dog so look at the left toes flex through your right heel hold it breathing in breathing out slowly step it through in between the hands remember get it as far as you can and then pick it up and shuffle it in between now we push that hip forward and we drop the back knee you're going to cactus the arms so lift the arms up cactus the arms right angles squeeze your left glute and open your chest spread your fingers nice and wide engage the core good try to keep the hips and the legs without moving so no movement in the hips use just the arms so we need to reach the arms forward and then pull them to cactus reach them forward cactus forward cactus hold it good left hand down pick up the back knee right arm to the sky hold it here press through that right foot engage your core muscles engage the abdomen good drop the back knee kick the left foot to the sky if you can reach it grab it with the right hand and then hold it here good breathing in breathing out release the foot right arm to sky tuck left toes pick up back knee right hand down transition through high plank first vinyasa so high plank inhale exhale knees chest chin or if you're ready take chaturanga up dog cobra lift legs off is up dog cobra legs are down exhale downward dog hips to the sky two breaths inhale one exhale one good work two exhale two left leg to the sky three-legged dog we hold flex through left leg look to right toes pad the palms into the floor hold it breathe good keep going and then when you're ready step that left foot in between the hands pick it up if you need to drop the back knee cactus the arms to the sky push those hips forward squeeze your left glute good now here again keep the legs as they are reach the arms forward you can pull the belly in and then reach the arms back quite a lot of this is in the shoulders forward and down forward and down big breath in hold it exhale right hand to the floor left arm to the sky pick up back knee engage core good breathing in breathing out right knee to the floor kick up the right leg reach left hand to right foot grab it if you've got that as an option well done hold it here get ready for vinyasa release tuck the toes pick up the back knee move through high plank left leg back inhale down exhale inhale up dog lift exhale down dog for three child's pose is always there if you need child's pose for two for one 
Good. Inhale, lift your heels up forward and then walk to a forward fold at the top of the mat. Feet are going to be hip distance. Hang your head. Good. Grab somewhere on the legs or the body or the hips. Big breath in. Big breath out. Good. Come to standing in three, in two, in one. Feel your feet ground into the floor. Come across to the left a little bit with your balance and then kick up your right heel to your bum cheek. So it might go to here, it might go to here. Try and get it as high as you can. And then without pulling the knee back or forward, you're gonna grab the back of your right foot. Squeeze that foot into the heel and make sure your knee does not come out. I'm not sure why I just did like a full 360 then, sorry. Make sure your knee does not go out to the side. So try to keep it as in line as possible and not forward and back. You've got two more breaths, waking the quad. One more. Good, now pull the right knee into the chest, lift it up, interlace the fingers and flex your right foot. Really kick off your left leg. Good, you should feel this in your glute. We're gonna step to lunge in three, in two, in one. Right leg back, arms to the sky, breathing in. Hold it, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Warrior two, open to the right, back heel down. Go a little bit deeper if you can today. Try and bend that leg nice and strong. Ground through both feet. Make sure you're not reaching too far forward. That's quite common. Shoulders over the hips. Inhale. Exhale. Flip that left forearm. Take it to the left thigh and the right arm to the sky. Try not to dump all the weight onto that left leg. So you want to try and hover this left arm. If you want to go further, you can take the extended arm option. Two breaths. Back up to warrior two, lift the torso, keep the bend, keep the bend. Well done, now straighten front leg, triangle, hips back, arms forward. Left hand comes to shin, the floor or the back of the hand pushes against the inner leg. Hold it here. Well done, coming back up all the way with straight legs. Hands to hips, heel toe your back foot in a little bit. And then try and tilt your hips slightly forward. So rather than out to the right, slightly forward. Right arm forward, left arm back. You're here, good. You're gonna take revolve triangle. This can be a bit of a challenge for some people. You might, if you're struggling with the leg straight, you might have to bend your front leg. Your right hand comes to the outside edge of the left shin. So I'm resting the back of the hand on the outside of the shin. The left arm, try and get it above your shoulder. Good, so like I said, you might wanna grab a block or we'll take a little bend in either of the legs to find that stability. Try to twist from your core, your rib cage, and engage your belly muscles. Well done, you're gonna windmill the arms back to warrior two. Left arm back, right arm forward, warrior two, inhale. Exhale, lunge, reach the arms up, good. Exhale, you're gonna drop right knee all the way to the floor. Good, now push the hips forward. This one, the knee may go over the toe a little bit. It's all right if you're careful and you keep your glutes active. This is gonna be either your stopping point. If you wanna take it further, you can kick your right leg up. This is a big quad one. Some of you may either wanna take the right hand behind and rest the arm against the right foot. Others, you might be able to reach back with both hands. You gotta re-engage your core strength there. We're here for a little while, the quad muscle is a big muscle. One more breath. Good, both arms to the sky, and then relax that right foot back down as you tuck the toe, lift the back knee, lunge. Good, nice kick off that back heel, so you're really on the tiptoes, inhale. Exhale, vinyasa, hands down, left leg back, high plank, inhale. Exhale, lower knees, chest, chin, chaturanga. Up dog, cobra lift. Downward dog for five or child's pose. You decide what you do. Try and stay with it, stay strong. That was a big sequence on the left leg. 
Good. Three more breaths. Look to that belly button or through the upper thighs. Squeeze the top of those thighs. Last one. Good work. Inhale, lift your heels, look forward. Step or jump to the top of the mat, take a forward fold. Feet hip distance, if they're together, bring them to hip distance. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, we fold. Reach to the sky, inhale. Exhale, hands heart centre. Good, down by the sides. You're going to kick that left heel, so make sure you take your weight slightly to the right. Left heel in to the bum. So if you've got a really tight left quad, you might want to do a few sort of weird little kicks and then hold it. Then take your left hand to the outside edge of the left foot and then squeeze that foot in. You can do whatever you want with the right hand. So you can bring it to the hip. You really want to try to kick your foot into your hand. So rather than just pulling the heel to the bum, try and actually resist the hand with the foot. So really kick the left foot into the left hand. Good, squeeze. All right, get your balance. Bring left knee into chest. Interlace the fingers. Really push off that right leg. Squeeze your glute. Flex that left foot. Hold it. Big breath in. Big breath out. We've got lunge in three, two, one. Lunge to the back of the mat. Arms to the sky. Inhale. Hold it. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Warrior two. We open to the left. Nice deep bend into that right thigh. Hold it. Strong feet. Try not to reach forward or back. Nice big breaths. Last one. We flip the right forearm, right thigh, left arm to sky. Hold it. Remember, you're taking it further and you want to use your obliques. Extend your arms out. Well done, guys. Well done. Let's come up. Keep the leg bent. Arms come up. Torso comes up. Now we straighten front leg. Hips back, arms forward. Right hand, thigh, shin, floor, or back of the hand. Good. Careful. If you're hypermobile, so if your legs push back, I would never try and do this sort of floating option. Always use some strength in your arm. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hands to hips. Heel toe the back foot in a little bit, and then rotate those hips to the center, so back to the front. Left arm forward, right arm back. Hold it, breathing in. Exhale, take the left hand to the right shin or press the back of the hand to the outside edge of the right shin. Right arm above your shoulder. Good. Windmill to warrior two, right arm back, left arm all the way over. Warrior two, inhale. Hold it. Exhale. Twist to lunge, inhale, arms down, they come up, back heel lifts, hands stay above the head as you lower the left knee to the floor, careful here. Remember this is the one where your right knee can go a little bit further than the toe, you have to really squeeze your glutes, so you press those hips forward. If you want to go further, you lift up that left foot, then you can stay here, engage your core, or you can take the left arm back and kind of rest that foot into the left, or you can what's called flip the grip, which is where you reach to your foot. But that is a hip flexor, intense stretch. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Inhale, exhale, good, arms to the sky. Left foot down, tuck the toes, pick up the back knee, into lunge, hold it. Inhale. Vinyasa, exhale. If you want to try three-legged, take your three-legged chaturanga. Up dog lift. Down dog or child's pose, doesn't matter which you choose. Accept the pose, accept the class, breathe deep. Four more. Well done. Big breaths.
those in child's pose. Downward dog, please. Inhale, lift heels, everyone. Look forward, step or jump to the top of the mat. Take a deep forward fold. Grab somewhere on those legs. If you're super open, peace fingers around the big toes. Elbows pull out as you pull your head towards your knees. If that's super, nowhere near, doesn't matter. Grab somewhere on the legs and come down. If you're bent with the knees, that's also fine. Just want you to find your version of a deep forward fold. Two more breaths, heavy head, strong feet. One more. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. Reach to the sky, inhale, hands to heart center, exhale, good. We're gonna take a few lifts of the heels, so we go toes up, toes, uh, heels lift, and come down. Focus on something in front of you. I want you to try and stay super strong and try not to use your hips. So try to just lift up and down. Hands to heart center, focus, lock your eyesight, grip your toes into the floor, Inhale, lift your heels, squeeze your glutes and your quads. Exhale, come down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come down. This one we hold. Inhale, lift. Good. Engage. Hold it. Engage your core. Tuck your tailbone under. If you want to go further, try to reach your arms above your head. This could be your handstand. I'm lucky because my ceiling's so small that I could just touch the ceiling, so I'm kind of cheating. Engage, release your heels down to the floor, hands to heart center, right knee into the chest, lift it in and up, hover it without holding it. So just lift it nice and high, breathing in, hands are still at the heart center. We transition to warrior three, so focus on something. Use your core, kick that right heel back, keep the shoulders high. Warrior three is actually a back bend as well as a balance. So there should be a bit of a curve in your spine. Your heel can be high and your shoulders can be high. Nice, Lucy. Inhale, we take right knee into chest. We're gonna cross right ankle on top of left knee and sit bum back. This is where you wanna be careful with that left knee. So the bum should be back, hold it. Try and tuck everything into your midriff. Well done. We're gonna try and transition straight to eagle. So you press right knee in and up to the chest and then you cross it over, wrap the legs around, and then sit it down. Engage that core, depends where you're at. So if you want to have a bit of a shoulder stretch in this one, and you love the arms, then do the eagle arms. Right arm underneath left, corks through the arms, and you're in full eagle. If you're doing that, really push your shoulder blades away, really grip the floor with your left foot. Two more breaths. Arms to sky, let's lift that right knee in. Exhale, take it down. Inhale, arms to the chest, arms to the sky, sorry, look up, reach the arms back. Exhale, forward fold. We take a vinyasa between both sides. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step, jump, float through vinyasa. Up, dog or cobra, down dog or child's pose. Three breaths, inhale one, exhale one. Inhale two, exhale two. Inhale three, exhale three. Downward dog we lift, inhale heels, look forward. Exhale step or jump to the top of the mat and fold. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale fold. Reach to the sky, inhale, hands to heart center. Exhale, we hold them there, feet hip distance. Left knee into chest, good. Now find that thing to focus on in front of you that isn't moving and try and stay with it through this whole sequence. Try and get really focused, really grounded, strong in your right foot. Warrior three, kick it back, shoulders stay high, flex through your left foot. Some people find it easier to point. If you wanna point, point. Do what you want with the arms. Add a bit of flair, get creative. This is where the fun is these days. Not much else to do. Left knee into the chest, lift it up, up, up. Cross that left ankle on top of the right. Squat it down, keep looking, keep focusing. Good, well done. Stay strong. Strong right leg, strong right foot. We go straight to eagle, so we pull the left knee in and up. We cross it over, sit it down, wrap that foot. Left arm underneath if you're taking eagle arms. Squeeze it in. 
Good, be careful on this one, it strengthens the ankle, but if you've had any ankle issues, you probably wanna skip Eagle. But it is good if you haven't torn or been unfortunate to kind of strain anything. Left knee into chest, lift it up, up, up. Exhale, take it down. Vinyasa, arms to the sky, reach back, get a back bend in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and <laughs> exhale, fold. Step or jump back through vinyasa. Up dog or cobra lift. Exhale, downward dog or child's pose. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing as if like, get a cheeky back bend in. See how many we can get in. One more breath. Good work. Right leg to the sky, big breath in. Open the hip, bend that leg. So right heel to left bum cheek, right knee as high as you can get it. Some people struggle with this and get a bit cramp. So you need to kind of have a, maybe a bend in the left knee or maybe take the right knee a little bit lower. You get, you get less of the hip, but maybe then you won't get cramp in the glute. So you're gonna have to modify best you can here. We're coming to pigeon. We're gonna do a good few variations in pigeon. So right knee down behind the right wrist, right foot across to the left. So get about a 45 degree angle with that right shin. Then slide your left leg back, drop your knee, but keep your hips away from the floor. Walk yourself back and you should come like, not even on the tip of the finger. So you should be like hovering. So you're holding yourself up. You gotta use your right glute. So most of the work here should be in your right glute. So you're not low, you're lifted. If you wanna go further, take your arms into prayer above your head. Try not to back bend. I want you to squeeze everything in. Good. Breathing in. Breathing out. Okay, hands down. Lower the hips, try not to unlevel the hips, so lower them down together. Release your back foot, but kind of keep it nice and strong. And then you can come into your restorative, so if you're lucky enough to get onto your forearms, drop your forearms. We're gonna stay here for a few breaths before our next variation. So drop your head. Often we like to kind of sit like this, so just drop it out, let it hang. Try not to let the left foot get a bit too floppy. Three more breaths. Good, lifting up. I'm gonna give you two variations. So some of you will like to choose the option where you lower your chest further. So that'll mean your right hand comes out and your left arm is gonna slide underneath like we did at the beginning and your left shoulder comes to the floor. So you're kind of in a bit of a twist. That will lower your left hip a bit further down, which is fine. If that's just not happening, then I would give you another option where you lift your hips a bit and you try and get your right foot further forward if it's not too much tension gathering in the knee. So you try and lift your right foot a little bit further up. So into more of a right angle. And then you focus on that by pushing your hips down pressing into the mound of the right foot. That one is much stronger for me. That forces a bit of a stretch into my right glute and into my right hip. So you really have to play around. Some people's hips are more tight internally than externally rotated. One more breath. Good, okay, let's sit onto the right bum cheek and open the hips. So you come to here. Pull that right leg in, we're gonna come into the twisted transition. So left leg all the way over the right leg. Good. You're here, you can take two options. Either you take right arm to the sky, the back of the elbow onto the left leg, and you take the twist, or careful with your shoulders, you can try a bind. So your right hand comes underneath your leg, and your left hand comes behind, and you grab behind you here, good. Get into wherever you can, don't push it. Shoulders, just like the knees, very delicate. Be careful. 
and we release. We're going to come to shoelace, so straight from here, your left leg is currently in the air. You may have to stay here if the next one's not possible. You're going to try to now bring the knees on top of one another and you're sitting into shoelace. That can be really uncomfortable for some people. Again, that's the internal or external hip rotation. If it is, stay here and focus on this. Wherever you are, you're going to take cow face with the arm. So your right hand comes up, it goes into the back of your shoulder blades. And then if you've got hot and taken off a t-shirt, you can use the t-shirt between your two hands, or you can just reach your left hand towards the right. Try to close your eyes here. Let's take more of an inner moment. So rather than allowing ourselves to get distracted, Let's close the eyes, breathe really deeply into the belly. Inhale, release the arms to the sky. Exhale, take your hands behind, try to transition to boat. So try to peel the legs up into your Navasana. Straight legs if you've got it in you, or bent legs, depends, you choose. Three more breaths. Last one. Jump back vinyasa, twist to the side vinyasa, get to high plank somehow. You choose, get through to chaturanga if you can. Up dog, cobra lift. Downward dog or child's pose. There will be a child's pose after this down dog. So you can either have an extra long child's pose, you got a three breath down dog, and then a child's pose. Good work. Last breath in downward dog. Good, drop the knees wide. We're gonna take a really wide leg child pose, wider than feels comfortable. So get a bit, bit wide with those knees and then settle the forehead to the floor. If you're comfortable on the tips of the fingers, I'd come onto the tips of the fingers and get a bit of a stretch through your armpits and your shoulders. Lift your head up and walk your hands in a little bit so you're on your forearms. You're going to take your right hand around the back of the hand onto the base of the spine and then you're going to open up your chest. So left forearms on the floor, you've got this sort of awkward twist lifting your right shoulder up. Good. Other side, left forearm down. You can have your forearm at an angle if that's more comfortable. Your right forearm down, sorry, and your left arm up. Right and left, I just don't know, foot and hand. I just have lost, lost the words. The words have gone. Hmm. Okay, as it's mid-level, there's options, which means I'm going to give you a dolphin thrown in here, or you can take another child's pose. You decide, accept whatever mood you're in. So either take a nice child's pose or give it a bit of energy and find a dolphin. You've got five breaths. Three. Dolphiners, let's child's pose. Inhale. Relax, exhale. Downward dog, everybody. Fingers spread nice and wide. You need a good, strong base with your hands. Big breath in, down dog. Big breath out. Left leg to the sky, open that hip. Bend the leg. Left foot to right bum cheek. Strong hands, you have to really wiggle around. Sometimes it helps if you get cramped to sort of roll your ankle, if you can roll your left foot. Pigeon, left knee to the top of the mat, 45 degrees roughly with that left leg. Remember we're keeping hips up first. So we slide the right heel back and down and then you walk your hands either side of your hips and lift up. So you've got to squeeze the right glute, get the left glute active Everything in your midriff should be kind of pulling in and under rather than out. Squeeze it in. This one's really good for your hip. This is like active. Pigeon is restorative. Good. Release your back heel. 
slide those hips down, try and keep the hips level and then come onto the forearms or even straight arms, elbows out, whatever takes your fancy. But try and now close the eyes, keep the right foot solid and strong. Try and have a soft activation in your right glute. Good. Stay with it. Close down the eyes. Good. Okay, we lift up a little bit. And this is where you've got the option to take the left hand out and the right arm underneath. And you come down onto the right here. And we hold here. Or you can just lift up a little bit and pull the right knee in. Squeeze and hold. This is where you take your left foot slightly further up. So if your left foot starts to creep under your left bum cheek, you kind of pull yourself back out. You kind of pull your left leg up and then you reset your hips. I actually secretly really hate this one a lot. But it's good for you as long as you can feel it in your hip and your glute area rather than your knee. If you feel it in your knee, no, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know, I've just lost, lost what's going on in the world. Breathe in, breathe out. <sighs> Good, all right, we take the twist. So the bum comes down, we sit on the left hip, the right leg comes up and over the left thigh. And then again, you can either take your left arm up, crossing that elbow to the outside edge of the right leg and you take your twist, or you still get here and you take the bind. So your left hand creeps underneath, your right arm comes around, but be really careful because there's a real push in the left shoulder. So anytime you've torn any muscle down here through your AC or your tra traps muscle down through your bicep, I'd never try this one if you've ever damaged a shoulder. Good, we come to shoelace, you come back around to the center and then you either stay here if you know you're not going anywhere or try to Take the feet slightly further out and bring the knees on top of each other. This is a real internal rotation. Cow face, left arm up, behind, right arm back. Good. Strong breath. And release. Okay, so coming into our closing sequence, normally I give you quite a few poses here. I've actually just got two to three poses that I want you to hold for longer. So we've got hero, which is a tough one for some people, so I will give you a few modifications. And I've put hang your man in again, because people like that one, which is the splits. But you don't have to do the splits, you just have to do your version. So you're gonna uncross your legs through to your boat first. We're gonna skip out the vinyasa. So uncross, lift up those legs, come to Navasana, inhale, hold it, hold it, exhale, squeeze your core shoulders away from the ears, one more breath, good, now swing your legs behind you, take them to the left and swing up into table, so you come to here, if you're lucky enough to have yoga blocks, I don't know why you'd be lucky, but if you've got them, you've got them, get your yoga blocks or a pillow, because it's really handy to have a prop, um, if you don't have them, it doesn't matter. Then from here, if you've got two, ideally you'll have two either side of you. You're going to come up onto your knees, so you're here with your feet tucked. I want you to step your right foot to the top of the mat, here. Then come into your lunge, so bend deeply into your lunge. Now the opposite, sit the hips back and straighten out the front leg. Good. Now, you wanna level your right hip, you wanna uh, push your right heel forward. So now where my hips are, they're back, your hips start to come forward, so you're here. Hold it here, get that big stretch through your right hamstring. If this is enough, great. If you wanna go further, which is why blocks is good, because you can get higher, you lift up your back knee, 
you slide it back and then you lower it down. You can then sit on a pillow under your right hip or you can sit on a block. Just like in pigeon, you want to try and keep your hips forward. So you don't want to open. People can sort of get lower if they open. It's better to stay further higher up than you think you can go by keeping your hips. Like if I dump into it, I can come to here, but my hip is now out of line. So you've got to pull it up, get those hips in line. Good, you've got to hold it. Don't hate me, it's good. Breathe. You can even have a bend in this right knee if you need to. Ready for the other side? Try to switch lifting up. So that's a challenge for some of you, where you pull your left heel in and you're gonna try to drag your right leg back. So you pick up, 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 drag it back. If not, just figure out how, how to get there and you'll find your down dog. So come to your down dog, this is our last one. So take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Left foot to the top of the mat, big step. Big lunge, drop the back knee, lunge into that left leg, and then swing the hips back, level out those hips, lift up the left toes. Slide the left heel forward so the hips start to come underneath you. And again, this is enough, fine, this is great. Plenty, or pick it up, slide it back. This is where props are super handy. Good. Stay with it. If you listen to the playlist, focus on the music. We're not rushing through this one. Strong breaths, deep breaths in and out. Good. Slowly creep your right knee further back in. So heel toe, heel toe, heel toe and then step your left leg back to join the right. Okay, we're gonna come to hero. So just sit on your heels for a minute. Some of you might be, this might be a bit tough. So hero is where your heels come slightly further out than your knees, not too far. That's just me exaggerating. And then you sit your bum in the space. So you sit down in between. This is the position. If you're here, great, lucky you. You're then going to take a pillow, a prop. If you didn't bring one, then you're not going to do that. You're going to take it underneath the base of the spine and you're going to lie back down and then open the arms to cactus. This is our last pose. This is challenging. And then we'll come to the Shavasana. If that is not happening for some people, doesn't matter. You will take the bent leg option. So your feet will be as wide as your mat. Your knees will roll in as far as you can get them. And then again, cactus the arms. Also option to have the prop underneath if you're not doing hero legs. Good. Get into it, stay with it, hold it, focus on your breath. This is your last active posture. So where you wanna focus majority of your effort on your breathing. Stay with your breath. Three more breaths, make them count. Deep belly breaths. Well done. Awesome work, everybody. Let's come to the well-deserved best bit, the Shavasana. So just slowly lift yourself out of it. Careful, and then come into your Shavasana. Get comfy, take up space. Nice big exaggerated star shape with the body. Relax those glutes. We're gonna do a little shake and release today. 
So tuck the chin, make sure you've got a nice long neck, close the eyes and take a deep breath in and just shake the whole body side to side. So your feet should wiggle, your glutes should wiggle, belly, shoulders, boobs, whatever, just shake, 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 breathing in. Open the mouth, breathing out. Stop the shaking on the exhale. Inhale, shake, shake, shake. Exhale, release. Last one, inhale. Exhale, release. Good. Find that contrast between all that movement, stretching, shaking to a full stillness. No movement. Quiet body, soft breath, quiet mind. Welcome any thoughts that come in, but then just politely ask them to leave. Try and find this gap in your mind, this space. You only do that by every thought that comes in, just pushing it away. If another one comes in, you push it away. Or anchor your mind to something. Perhaps it's this visualization of the flame at the center of the body. Perhaps it's focusing on your breath coming in and effortlessly coming out. Remain heavy and still. Remember to try to accept whatever it is is going on for you, whatever situation we're in. And it's really difficult, but remember that realistically everything that we do is a choice. We choose how little or how much we work, how little or a lot we feel stressed or calm. We control how we feel, we react and how we respond. So just remember, even if it feels like it's not the case, we are in control. You are in control of a situation at the moment that we might like to change, but we're in control of our version of it, our experience of it. We spend so much of our time focusing on our missteps. When we trip and fall, we seem to only obsess over the 10 seconds we were on the ground rather than the rest of our day spent walking perfectly fine. Similarly, in life, we let one heavy moment, month or year get in the way of our ability to see that we are okay so much more than we are not okay. Falling down does not make us who we are standing up does, rising and continuing to move forward does. Take a deep breath in everybody and sigh it out. Try to keep those eyes closed as you roll to your right hand side. Take a few seconds there and then come up to join me in a cross-legged position. Bring your hands to prayer in heart center. Close those eyes. Big, big breath in. Big breath out. Namaste, Jai. The light in me honors the light in you. Well done. <laughs>